Hey guys, welcome to my first vlog that has a higher chance, like 90% maybe, of getting posted. And the reason why I say that is because in the past, every single time I try to vlog or whatever, I just didn't have time to really edit the video, which is like the biggest struggle for me as a content creator. But anyway, not the point. This is hopefully gonna make it onto the World Wide Web. I landed in Vancouver last night, so today is kind of like the first day of being in Vancouver. I actually did have this whole spiel waiting for my flight and stuff but it was so loud that I'm like okay I'm just gonna re-record and explain the purpose of my trip etc etc so the purpose of my trip is that there really is no purpose the only reason why I'm here is because a few months ago I saw this email notification I subscribed to his blog and if you're in Canada like you should definitely go and subscribe just google whatever city you're from google the airport and then it's like so for example Toronto would be YYZ deals what this guy does is he sends email notifications every single time there's like a really cool deal going somewhere the latest one that i saw was flights from toronto to japan was like 500 something dollars which obviously if there wasn't a coronavirus happening i would be 100 percent on board but anyway because obviously now is not the great time to be traveling to asia in general or like actually traveling in general but also like asia because now all the really close by asian countries are heavily getting infected um but what was I saying? This is literally like what happens when you have ADHD. Right, why I'm here. So a few months ago, this guy posted on the notifications like, oh, deals from Toronto to Vancouver are $300 round trip. I just booked the ticket and I was just planning to be here for a week. I wasn't sure if I was gonna just like work from here because there honestly is an office here which I could work, but I decided to just take the entire week off, partly because I wanted to spend some more quality time with my family and friends, but also thought that this would be a really good de-stressing week because in the past few months and weeks, I have been, I think, depressed. I'm saying this very casually, but actually I think I've genuinely been depressed because there's been so much going on with like the apartment and just moving and trying to set up everything. In general, I've just been feeling so stressed and I just need this week to just catch up on my other work and yeah, basically being here. So today, like I said, is kind of the first day. So my brother has flown in from the middle of nowhere. A lot of people don't know that I have a brother, but that's partly because, you know, we live in completely different provinces. I live in Ontario, my parents are from Vancouver and he lives in between Alberta and BC in the middle of nowhere. He lives in a city called Fernie is what it's called. So he's only here this weekend, whereas I'm here the entire week. So I'm kind of trying to spend just this weekend like dedicated to family. We're gonna go out for some dim sum, even though my mom is like, no one is going out right now because like everybody is scared of the virus, but whatever, we're gonna go. Um, so we're gonna go get some dim sum. And then afterwards, I'm just gonna see what my family and I are up to. And if we're not doing much, I wanna meet up with Kelly. She's here from Toronto, also visiting another friend from Vancouver because she literally saw the same deal online i'm telling you this is a legit site so i might meet up with her and then i think later in the evening i'm also going to meet up with a friend who's from vancouver but now lives in portland for school just going to take you guys along show you a day in the life of what i do when i hang out with people in vancouver and when i'm with my family i'm not very used to doing vlogs so i hope this is how you do a vlog. I've already been rambling on for so long, so I'm just gonna take you with me. Okay guys, I am currently shopping at the mall with my mom. We just went to the Apple store to drop off my phone because I had cracked the screen and I finally got time to replace that. And I'm also getting a laptop, but I'm gonna get it when I pick it up because I don't wanna be lugging this expensive piece of I don't know why laptops are so expensive now. But anyway, right now we are in Banana Republic. This is my mom's favorite store and they're having a additional 60% off sale. Um, I lost my mom. Also earlier when I was at the Apple store, she literally left me there after I dropped off my phone. So I already didn't have a phone and I lost her and I couldn't get a hold of her and I had to borrow the stranger's phone to call her and she still didn't pick up, so anyway. Okay, so let's see what my mom is up to. Hi, mom. Hi.
the point yeah. that people really want it. Okay, so we are currently at Holt Renfrew where Carolyn has made a very impulsive, expensive decision. This girl just bought a bag! Yay! Okay, so I am currently about to go to Sushi Town. I haven't been here for a freaking year, but this was my high school spot and my favorite restaurant all throughout high school. Say hi to my friends who don't want to be in front of the camera. <laughs> you i'll cut you out if you want okay but this is sushi town oh my god please try to there we go this is sushi town and we're about to go inside yay i'm so excited look at this menu i have missed this menu for so long yay <laughs> you're like just casually <laughs> setting up the table <laughs> Okay, so the first rule here is the awesome rule. There's a California roll and salmon and avocado. It's the best combination. This is a chopped scallop roll, and this does not exist in Ontario, but it's the best roll ever. Also, when we get sushi, we always get low sodium. Yay! And there's more later. Okay, next up we have salmon and tuna sashimi, spicy. This is also one of their signatures. And then this is the regular salmon sashimi that I always get. Hey. Hi guys, so this is the second day that I'm in Vancouver. Today I'm just spending some time with my family. I'm helping them set up around the house. They are also doing renovations. So until now, they're not completely done yet. We're just doing things like I got them a Google Home Mini. Um, we're just setting it up and my mom is playing with it upstairs and it is hilarious. So I'm just gonna show you. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then meanwhile, my dad is literally watching TV. <laughs> so we are currently at the Tesla store. My family is test driving a Tesla. We're just thinking about it potentially. Um, Hi, mom. <laughs> John, wave. What's that? So this was largely due to the fact that my parents wanted to switch cars around October. So they're starting to look now. And I told them all about my friend Eric's Tesla and how much I loved it. And you, know, you don't have to get any gas. For those of you who don't know, gas in Vancouver is so expensive, like way more expensive than in Toronto. So in Toronto, the prices recently have been like 112 per liter or whatever. In Vancouver, it's actually 142 starting. It definitely is a lot more expensive and the subsidy in Vancouver is a lot better for electric cars. Um, this is the one that I really want, but obviously this is very, very out of our price range, but whatever. Doesn't hurt to look. I'm just so obsessed with this door. Mom is praying because he is driving. On our way to the Cypress Viewpoint. Yeah, we're doing a quick car switch. Mom is next. We're here at the Cypress Viewpoint. This is what you see for those who are not familiar with Vancouver. Cypress is another mountain that you can go skiing and snowboarding. It's just behind us. Um, but there's a viewpoint halfway on your way up to the mountain where you can see this super beautiful scenery. We're autopiloting on the Lions Gate Bridge. Dad is not driving. In fact, nobody is driving. Got a backseat driver right here. Yeah, look into the camera. You know it too. Honestly, guys, this is such typical Vancouver weather. Every time I go back, it is just gloomy. So you find the sights to the to the 
So we just finished coming back from the Tesla store um, after our test drive and we are now having dinner at Green and Oak which is a Singaporean Malaysian restaurant. Um, it's my first time here so we'll see what the food is like. But we're just the four of us. Mine is dad. We're sad. Hello. Wave. Oh shit. Where's dad? Mom came up with this decision and this is so good. This is the Hainan chicken. We've got some laksa here. Rice for the Hainan chicken. And some noodles. Okay, I've been waiting for this roti for so long. Yay, this is the whole look. Hey guys, so today is Monday and honestly I didn't do that much this morning. I will definitely talk a little bit about it later, but right now I am on my way to acupuncture. Don't worry, I will not be looking at the camera as I am driving. I'm just kind of getting set up here and then I'm gonna go and I'll kind of explain what I did today. Today I can actually say happy Monday because um, I didn't go to work, so I am actually happy. Basically what I did this morning was I just caught up on some emails, not from work, but just like for the vlog. And I also had my therapy session. So usually I go to therapy for an hour and my guy is remote, so that's really great. I can kind of talk to him from anywhere. Sometimes I take the calls from home. So now that I'm in Vancouver, I'm still able to kind of have my therapy session. So like I said, I usually do one hour, but lately I've just kind of needed some more help or guidance. So what I do is I either talk to him two times a week or I'll see if I can do one one and a half hours for my session instead of just one hour. Me doing an hour and a half sessions really, for me, like feels a lot better because I feel like sometimes with just one hour, I'm trying to rush through things and talk to him very quickly about what's going on. Whereas when I have one and a half hours, I actually feel like I've completed something. So I'm just gonna pass this guy, okay, bye. As you saw from earlier this vlog, I got the new MacBook and I just don't know whether or not I should keep it because it's 16 inches and it's so big, but that's the one with the really good video editing and stuff and that was like the only reason why I caved for that one or else the 13 inches usually works really, really well for me. I'm just kind of testing it out. Good thing Apple has like a 14 day return policy. I really needed a new laptop because the laptop I've been using, I got in 2014 for university and right now now everything is just too slow for what I need. I just don't really just note take anymore like I do videos and I do a lot of like heavy content stuff. So um, I just kind of figured that like having a better laptop is kind of the time right now. But anyway, kind of wanting to talk about acupuncture. So every time I come back, I go to this acupuncture guy as aggressively as I can. I'm here for a week. I'll literally see him six times a week. Just because if you guys didn't know, half a year ago, I got a cyst in my hand right here. The option is either, you know, surgically remove it or I can leave it. I found that during my short time in Vancouver whenever I went to see him, it actually does become smaller every time he does the treatment on me. So I'm just trying so hard to get rid of this thing. I might have to come and like stay in Vancouver longer if I really want to focus on getting rid of this thing because I just don't want surgery on my right hand. It's like my most dominant hand. So if anything were to go wrong, I think it would just honestly impact my entire life. So I'm trying to go the most natural route as I can. I also don't want to leave it in case it does grow bigger. It then will still impact my function and then, then I'll have to actually have it surgically removed. I'm trying to deal with it as much as possible as I can right now. The other thing that I go to acupuncture for, if people are wondering, any joint problem that I have. I also go to him for other issues that you, you don't think you can solve. So one of the things that I also see him for is like my hands and my feet are historically just super cold and very clammy. I think it's just because I have really bad circulation. So I try to go to acupuncture as well to kind of get that circulation going. It's honestly been very helpful for me and a lot of people don't know the benefits of acupuncture so if you are ever curious I am just letting you know now yeah anyway I am almost there so I will talk to you guys after obviously I won't be able to vlog there because 
my hands and like my entire body is just gonna be occupied with needles. I will talk to you guys. So I'm currently at Arisa's for dinner. Her dad made us the best food. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yum. This is called baka. It's Yum. Vietnamese beef stew. Wow. Right, dad? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, I'm so excited. Good morning, guys. So today is Wednesday. Um, when you're on vacation, you don't know what's going on. Okay, look at my neck. If you already follow me in my stories, I'm gonna just like talk like this. If you follow me on my stories, you would know that I literally, for the last two days, have had this freaking rash all over my neck. I don't know what's happening. I'm not allergic to anything. I don't know why this appeared, but I'm actually heading out right now to acupuncture again, but also to get some anti-itching cream or just like something to get rid of this. I'm gonna show you, but like, please don't be scared of me. This is literally the only time it's happened, but like, it's so bad. It started off like right here and I was just like, oh, this is so itchy and it's getting bumpy. And I was like, oh my God, is this, um, I don't know some type of like pimple or whatever, but then eventually it took over the entire neck and it's so itchy I feel like Phoebe in Friends when she was like Scratching for her chicken pox and it's like so satisfying when she scratches but I know I shouldn't I had to cancel all of my plans today Not actually because like I'm so ashamed like I have a turtleneck whatever It's literally just because like I can't stop itching and I'm so uncomfortable and I just don't want to be like out with my friends going like <laughs> But um, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much the stitch for today. Yesterday, before it got really bad, it was still there, but you can't see on camera. Um, I filmed my um, February favorites and some other videos. So thank God I got the filming out of the way because now I can just edit and like look like a mess and it'll be okay. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon, um, probably the next day and hopefully this will be gone. Bye. Hey guys, happy Friday. So today is pretty much the last day I'm in Vancouver because I'm going to be going to Portland on Saturday with my friends Eric and Jessica. I'm finally vlogging again because as you can see from my neck probably, the rash is just starting to go away. It was so bad the last two days. It also made me super drowsy. I actually found out why it was happening to me. Um, I think it was because of all the renovations that was going on in my house so the air was really really bad so the fact that I stayed home because I started to feel like also super drowsy and I just like went to bed and slept for the last two days that also didn't help because the cause I think was the fact that I was in my house so the fact that I stayed at home for the last two days almost made it worse last night it actually went all the way up to my face I really just like popped a lot of the allergy pills and I also put on a lot of the cream also it's not as bad right now because I put on some makeup so so it gives the illusion that it's not as bad. But what I'm doing today is I am meeting up with Michelle. Um, I met her on Instagram. She also works at Oaken Four, um, the head office. So I'm actually just visiting the office right now first and then we're gonna grab coffee. So I'm gonna show you guys around. Um, I'm sorry if this part of the vlog is not as clear. Um, sorry, I'm trying to figure my life out right now because I brought my camera and of course I freaking forgot my memory card. So I'm trying to just vlog on my phone. So I'm very, very sorry that it's shaky, but I will take you guys inside with me. Okay, head office. So this is your head office. Oh, I wonder if there's also a store here because I would love to shop. So it is pretty much the last day of my Vancouver trip. I'm currently over at Eric's and Jessica's new apartment. Why did I say Eric's and Jessica's? Eric and Jessica's new apartment. We just had a housewarming party for them. Um, we're now going to bed because we're going to Portland tomorrow for the day. So there's gonna be a lot of driving because the drive from here to Portland is going to be six hours alone. So I'm gonna end my vlog here and I will have another vlog for 24 hours in Portland. So I will see you guys then. Bye.